Welcome again YouTubers to my channel. This is Shell Docs channel. In this video I am checking my wheel front wheel sensor cable and front wheel sensor here to see if anything is wrong with it. Well I just checked it and you know it's not you, you, you can learn something every day because when I was checking this cable I thought that it was not good because I wasn't getting a reading from it but what I learned is that you have to ensure that you check it based on a polarity basis so you have to ensure that you have the right connection to the right pin usually when you have a sensor and it operates on magnetic um, when it operates on magnetism it doesn't matter once it's a coil it doesn't matter how it it is um, connected here once you connect it one way with the meter positive here and negative here it will work or, or positive on this side and negative on that side it will still work but what I realize with this it is polarity base so you can just test it one way positive on one side negative on the other side and expect that you're going to get a reading if you don't get a reading you can change around the polarity and see if you get a reading and that is what i'm going to do now because i just learned that this is how this front wheel sensor work on my toyota vitz 2011 um, and I, I would assume that most of these vehicle with these sensors would operate the same and as i said it's polarity based um, it's going to be a bit difficult for me to to do this because I need to ensure that these touches the pin. Alright, so I'm just going to show you, put it on and show you and see what is what and show you the cable connection down here and how the meter lead is connected to it. So here is the meter and I'm going to put it on the mega ohm function doesn't necessarily have to be on that function but here it is two mega ohm uh, since i've checked it and it operates well on 20 kilo ohm i'm just going to use that function the 20 kilo ohm function and here i have the connection with the leads so the black as you see is connected to my right and the white cable is on that side let me see if i can give you a better view of it and here is the white to my right and on the left the the black cable is to my left which is the red the red connection here is connected to it and the black is connected to the white and you notice on the meter there is no reading so let me just switch it around um red on the white and the black on the black and let us see what reading if there will be a reading displayed on the screen all right here now i have the red on the white and the black on the black so we notice that there's a reading on the screen presently and this shows that you cannot test it using a multimeter tester by connecting the the meter leads any and anyhow because if you connect it to the wrong way or connect it the wrong way you may get a reading that does not reflect what the true condition of the the sensor or the sensor cable is in because as as i am now i took off the sensor cable from my vehicle and when i tested it i did not get any reading and obviously i was testing it the wrong way so i thought that this was the fault why i was getting my abs light on but now i noticed that this is not the problem so the problem lie beyond the, the the sensor cable the wheel sensor cable and the wheel sensor so i now have to search the electrical system that is beyond this to the the, the computer so here hopefully this video can assist you in testing your cable to find out if it is good or not and thank you for watching please subscribe have yourself a nice time